Hi everybody, I'm Leslie, this is Emily, and we are back with this week's edition of Tuesdays at Two. Now, running a small business requires entrepreneurs to wear many, many hats and deal with a variety of business functions. Sure. And one of those things is that you must keep a watchful eye on trends. Yeah. They can change the way your company operates and can also jeopardize your entire organization. So we put together the five trends small businesses need to look out for in 2020. Mm -hmm. Very important, okay? Number one is cyber attacks can c continue to run rampant, okay? So cyber attacks are continuing to increase. Mm -hmm. In January 2019 alone, attacks resulted in over 1.7 billion records being leaked in various data And breaches. that was almost a year ago already. Yeah, I mean, that is a lot, okay? So hackers are targeting small businesses as well, right? As a result, most small business, small business security measures no longer suffice, okay? So an attack can prove devastating to your business. For example, 60% mm -hmm. of small businesses that fall victim to security breaches go out of business within six months. Wow. That's terrifying. That is it's terrifying. Bad. Okay. So Get that security going, you yeah, guys. Definitely. So important. Yeah. So number two, consumers are looking for engaging content on social media. So we're consumers, we're always constantly looking, right? Yeah. We're all we live in a social world now, right? Online. Uh, so stories on Facebook and Instagram are among the biggest trends in social media right now, and they're growing exponentially over the next year. Mm -hmm. uh, individuals and organizations are using those stories in their publishing campaigns and promotions. Wow. Uh, to, and they increase traffic. They're getting results from this, you guys. So in just two years, there are now about 500 million people who use Facebook stories alone. Wow. It's an incredible opportunity for your business to take advantage of too, and Definitely. it doesn't cost you a thing. Yeah, we think about our stories daily, Every on a daily basis. We put really it on the gram, we say. On, yeah. <laughs> okay, so number three, stakeholders want to be educated. Okay, people now thrive on information, so small businesses must be able to effectively educate their stakeholders to keep them engaged. Mm -hmm. So prospective clients will do plenty of research on the web before mm -hmm. buying your products or services, right? So your company needs to be able to educate clients in engaging ways. Mm -hmm. Also internally, small businesses should be able to effectively pass on information between management staff and, and make sure reports are easy to understand and everything like that. All the information needs to be clear and concise. That's right. So trend number four, people want to do business with thought leaders. So maintaining a strong digital presence should be a top priority for your business. So this is the case when it comes to your brand as well as the personal brand of executive leaders. Mm -hmm. So today's customers want to transact with businesses that are not only attractive and functional online channels, but are also led and managed by reputable and knowledgeable leaders. Mm -hmm. Almost like think about that influencer kind yeah. of situation right so consumers put a premium on industry and thought leadership yep. they try to determine whether the company they're working with has a true visionary at the helm wow. and it happens all <clears throat> before they commit to a purchase Wow crazy mm -hmm. okay number five customers are demanding faster response times to inquiries and concerns okay so small businesses must be able to maximize opportunities to convert leads into sales That's okay right. you typically only have five minutes to reply to inquiries or else wow. the chances of getting in touch with a prospect drastically decrease. Wow, that's incredible. <clears throat> yeah. So you can always turn to digital tools to help you over overcome some of these common um, mm -hmm. obstacles throughout the year. Um, they can really help you be competitive in today's landscape. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, those are the five trends small businesses need to look out for in 2020. Which one are you going to start putting into practice first? What do you think of some of the other ones? Have you already prepared for some yeah. of these top trends? Let us know so. in the comments because, you know, the strategic adoption of innovative tools can help your business grow. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, definitely. it's just that simple, you guys. Keep a watchful eye out there. Hopefully this helped, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.